What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. It's been said that sex sells, but the last thing a business wants is a sex scandal. Here are 10 of the WWE's biggest scandals. Number 1. Hulk Hogan's Sex Tape The Hulkster managed to get in a lot of hot water when Gorka leaked a sex tape of him and friend Bubba the Love Sponge's wife, Heather Cole, servicing the little Hulkster. According to a New York Post story, sniffling throughout the deposition, which was played at the trial, Cole said she had no qualms when the Love Sponge asked her to hook up with his best pal, who at the time was splitting from his first wife, Linda. According to the story, Cole insisted that, despite making sex tapes with other men for her then hubby's sick kicks, she had no idea she was being taped. When she had the tryst with Hogan, that was revealed on the Gorka website. Not only was Hogan exposed, but so were racist comments made during the tryst. Comments that got him fired from the WWE and removed from the Hall of Fame. Then in a Superman-like comeback, reminiscent of his wrestling career, Hogan rallied by suing Gorka, eventually getting $115 million in compensatory damages and $25 million in punitive damages. Gorka eventually settled for $31 million. Number 2. The Ring Boy Scandal 1992 proved to be the bad year for the WWF as a sex scandal threatened the company along with allegations of rampant steroid abuse. As we mentioned in our Behind the Titan Tron video, former ring attendant Tom Cole, who was underage when he worked with the WWF, claims WWF employee Mel Phillips exploited young boys such as himself whilst WWF employee Terry Garvin promised aspiring wrestlers a push for sexual favours. In the book Wrestling Babylon, Cole also claims Pat Patterson would look at you when he was talking to you. He'd look right at your crotch and he'd lick his lips. He'd put his hand on your ass and squeeze your ass and stuff like that. Phillips would be fired while Terry Garvin resigned. Pat Patterson was released but quietly returned to the company. Cole sued the WWF arguing he was fired when he was spurned by Garvin's sexual advances. The WWF settled, granting Cole back pay and reinstating his job. However, Cole would be later fired with him claiming the WWF did so after he refused to supply them with the questions he was asked by a federal grand jury investigating Vince McMahon for steroid distribution. Number 3. Sable's Sexual Harassment Suit Reno Mero took the wrestling world by storm when she went from Mark Mero's valet to the WWF's number one sex symbol, eventually posing for Playboy. Sable had problems backstage with some claiming the success went to her head. Sable stormed out of the WWF but not before filing a $140 million lawsuit claiming sexual harassment. According to documents obtained by the Wrestling Observer, Mero claimed men would routinely walk into the women's dressing room as if by accident. Men would cut holes in the walls to watch women dressing, extras were hired as WWF regulars to expose their breasts, big nipple contests were engaged in and men regularly bragging about their sexual encounters without regard to women present. The case was settled out of court for an undisclosed sum and Sable returned to the WWE in 2003, leaving the company on amicable terms in 2004. Vince and Rita Chatterton In 1992, former WWF employee Rita Chatterton appeared on the Geraldo Riviera show, Now It Can Be Told, alleging that Vince McMahon made me have oral sex and he started to get really excited and I pulled away and he got really angry and said that's worth a half a million dollars a year. And when I said no, he said I better satisfy him and he pulled off my pants and he pulled me on top of him and he satisfied himself through intercourse. In the book Wrestling Babylon, of Munchnik discusses how McMahon's chauffeur Jim Stewart corroborated Chatterson's account and filed a lawsuit of his own, alleging that during his WWF employment, he had been forced into witnessing the commission of crimes. No criminal action was possible against Vince as the statute of limitations had passed. Eventually, Vince and Linda McMahon sued Chatterton, Riviera and wrestler David Schultz for emotional distress, but the suit was dropped. Number 5. Paige's Sex Tape If Paige thought she was getting heat for her romance with older man Alberto Del Rio, imagine her reaction when a sex tape involving her and WWE superstar Xavier Woods and former superstar Brad Maddox was leaked. Paige was devastated, tweeting, I had days where I wanted to physically harm myself. However, Paige and fiancé Alberto Del Rio have decided to marry right away as a sign of their commitment to one another. Reportedly, no disciplinary action will be taken by WWE as it is considered a privacy violation. Number 6. Seth Rollins Nude Photo Leak Rollins got the virtual version of a curb stomp when he accidentally posted a nude selfie taken by model and NXT star Zara Schreiber. Rollins' girlfriend was none too happy and posted pictures of the architect's private architecture in reverse revenge, demonstrating the downside of social media. The WWE later fired Zara for prior social media posts containing Nazi symbols. Number 7. Jerry Lawler Rape Accusation in 1993 Pity Jerry the King Lawler, a self-admitted sex enthusiast. By most accounts, he tends to like younger women. But things proved tricky in 1993 when he was accused of raping and sodomizing a 15-year-old girl. The WWF pulled him from its Survivor Series pay-per-view, replacing him with Shawn Michaels and three mass wrestlers. 
Eventually, the girl recanted her story, claiming that she'd made it up to make her boyfriend jealous. Number 8. Tom Phillips caught having an affair Social media once again caused problems for a WWE employee when SmackDown play-by-play -play commentator Tom Phillips was exposed by a female fan he'd pursued through social media. Phillips, who at the time was engaged to marry, sent sexually explicit messages. In an interview with Wrestling Inc., the girl named Missy claimed Phillips began talking with her online over his company phone, eventually asking to meet her for a date. Everything seemed wonderful until one of Missy's friends saw an engagement video with Phillips. Missy tried to reach Phillips, but suddenly he was nowhere to be found, leading her to exposing his tomcatting on social media by reposting one of his flirtatious messages. The reason? I got so tricked and it made me want to put it out there, and he can do this to any girl in any state. Whether Missy was a woman scorned or truly looking to protect other women, I'm sure Phillips' blunder ended up costing him big. Number 9. Edge Spears Lita after Matt Hardy took time off to recover from an injury, girlfriend Lita continued working in the WWE and reportedly got very chummy with fellow wrestler Edge. Eventually, Matt Hardy found out and blasted the two via the internet. Understandably angry that his friend Edge had betrayed him and Lita as well, the WWE in response fired Matt Hardy, but WWE fans' We Want Matt chants led to the company rehiring Matt and creating an angle out of the love triangle. And number 10, Stephanie McMahon and Randy Savage. Rumors persist that Randy Savage had an affair with 17-year-old Stephanie McMahon prior to his departure to WCW in late 1994. In 1996, Savage and the WWF began negotiating over Savage's return to the WWF. According to the book Titan Shattered, when Vince McMahon learned of the relationship, he vowed Savage would never return to the WWF. According to Savage's brother Lanny Poffo, the rumors started after Savage cut a promo after Triple H called him a dinosaur. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Puffo explains, Randy insinuated he wanted to take Triple H, slap him in the face, take his girl Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of Vince McMahon and wife of Triple H, and drive her around the block, then give her back to him. Lanny says it wasn't right, but Randy was provoked. That interview led to a nasty rumor that Savage had had an affair with Stephanie before leaving for WCW, the reason why he was never welcomed back. The rumor has no truth whatsoever, Lanny says. With Savage dead and Stephanie quiet, there's only room for conjuncture. Given Vince's tendency to punish wrestlers he feels have offended him by keeping them out of the Hall of Fame, it can be argued Savage's induction is a sign that the rumors are untrue. Well guys, there you have it. Wrestlers who have found their escapades in the bedroom and on social media can have dire consequences. Did we miss any? Be sure to leave your comments below, subscribe if you already haven't, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.